Okay, we're going to continue tweaking the, our pages here. So the one thing I want to do is this space between the menu and these guys. I want to make this consistent with this, which is, I believe, an 8-pixel space. And then the other thing I want to fix in this one is getting rid of the space here and the space here so that this banner image is actually starts at the top of the page. So let's go in and remove this space first. And to do that, we'll be on our default page. And it's this break right here. There's a break between the top of the page and this first box with a picture in it. So that will re you know, removing the break, if we look at this, it will jump this picture up and eliminate that gap altogether. Now what we want to do is actually add a little gap back in. So to do that, you know, the space on the outside of these boxes is the margin. So we'll set the margin top on these rounded boxes. I'm going to do this up here after the padding. So we'll set margin dash top to 8 pixels. So let's save this one and take a look. Okay, so again now I've got a consistent space here, same thing as here, same thing as here, it's all 8 pixels. If you don't like this, again you can tweak this and make this different. But now let's eliminate this space up here. And to do that, this is actually be on the master page. We'll go to the master page and look at, uh, let's see, let's look what we've got going here. On our body, don't have any padding set, but I believe that there's a default padding that's built in here. So let's just set the padding on this to zero, and then see our on our main wrapper, which is this inner box. We have, you notice we have some padding set to four pixels. So let's just make this zero. And then let's see if we've got anything, other breaks or things down in here that are moving us down. So if we come down here and look inside here, we've got the login holder, and then here's a break. So this login holder, or that span, puts their login guy up here. We'll have to deal with him here in a second too. But then after that there's a break which forces this picture down. So let's go get rid of this break. And let's save this and now let's reload this and take a look. Okay, so now that removed that, but you notice we still have these spaces here. Thought those would be gone. Okay, so we've still got the gap here and the border here that we need to get rid of. And to get rid of that, Let's see, let's do this to this span. We actually want, I'm going to change him to a div so I can position him. And I'm going to put, give him a absolute positioning. And that was called login holder. So rather than floating him right, I'm going to do this. We'll set his position to absolute, which takes him out of the normal flow. Okay, so there, that jumps him up, then rather than floating him right. So that was preventing this thing from coming up by having him in the normal flow, having that login holder. 
Okay, so that jumps that all up. Then it looks to me like it's on the body that we also have to set the padding or padding or margins to zero to move these guys up. So let's go on this login holder. Rather than floating him right, we'll actually set his, since he's now being positioned absolutely, we'll set his right position to zero. And this says take his right edge and move it zero pixels from the right edge. And we'll have, probably have to monkey around with that a little bit. But now let's go look at our main wrapper. Oh, and we did set the padding to zero on the body. Um, let's try this too, but let's set the margin to zero on this. And see if that gets rid of all our gaps here. Okay, so let's refresh this. Okay, so there we go. That You notice how this guy's floated all the way up, or bumps all the way up the top here. Our login is now positioned here. So let's move him over. We want his right to be not at zero, but at eight pixels. And let's make it a little bit more than eight. Let's see. Just to give it a little, I'm going to set it at 10 pixels. And then if we take a look, okay, so he's moved over, he's in here. I'm actually going to move him over a little bit more because I want this 8 plus a little, you know, a little internal buffer here. So I'm going to double that up to 16. So it's 8 plus another 8. We can look at it on the other browsers too just to make sure. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. Um, I'll actually come back and fine tune this later and we'll get rid of the underline on the login. But again, things, you know, things are lining up here looking pretty good. Hope we see a problem here. You notice there's a gap on this in Firefox. And there's not a gap between the image and the menu in Chrome. And there's a slight gap here. So We'll come back and fix that in the next tutorial.